telling you, man, New York City rats are smart. Leave it to a stand-up comedian to add some much-needed levity to New York City's serious trash and rat problem. They're everywhere. Howie Dewey lives in the densely populated West Village, where the city's exploding population of razor-toothed rodents tear through thick, contractor-grade garbage bags that often sit on the curb for 14 hours at a time. Be three or four of them following you home. But for Mayor Eric Adams, this is no laughing matter. We're going to kill rats. Rats have no place in this city. So, in addition to stepping up overnight collection efforts, Adams announced Monday the Department of Sanitation will, for the first time in 50 years, propose pushing back the current trash set-out time from 4 p.m. to after 6 p.m. if using secure containers with rat-proof lids, or after 8 p.m. if leaving traditional garbage bags on the curb. There's also a new voluntary trash pickup option of 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. for buildings with nine or more units. We've gotten reports that rats are scaring our children during recess. They're showing up in our homes. The ultimate goal, to reduce from 14 down to 4 the number of hours trash sits on the city's curbs. City Hall worked with the council, real estate industry executives, and the building's trade unions to come up with the plan. SEIU Local 32BJ Vice President Candace Tall. Our members are used to putting trash out at the end of the day, maybe not the beginning. And so that would be a change. But we also deal with the rats. Our members live in these communities. West Village resident Howie Dewey and his longtime building superintendent Abraham both remain skeptical. And they will find a way to find their food. These rats are, are behind closed doors having meetings about what to do at the, while we're speaking. I'm telling you. Sanitation officials say they're going to create special routes for the buildings that opt for that early morning pickup. What's next? Council hearings. There's also a public hearing scheduled for next month. And if all goes as planned, this could go to effect next April. We're live in the village tonight. Jay Dow, Fix 11 News. You know.